Hi, I'm Chris McKenna, and welcome to Exam Debug. Today we're going to be going through the fourth in our series of systems analysis, which is the development and testing phase. So if you want to find out more, stay with us. Okay, so let's have a look at development and testing. So the development part of that is actually fairly simple. Um, all we're really doing at this point is building the things that we designed. So in the last section, we made our plans, and in the development part, we are putting those plans into practice, and we're making the things that we planned. So if we designed a database, then we are going to develop the database at this point. Um, other things that we might do, so if we jump back to our design section, we see that we have to create things like our GUI, GUI, our graphical user interface, and our flowcharts we'd have to put into practice, our pseudocode, which as you hopefully remember is our kind of temporary um, English language, or well, any language, but our temporary sentence written out structure of our programming language. This will be changed into actual code at this point. We would implement our validation and verification rules and methods. We would actually use them at this point for copying over, for verification, and for validation we would maybe say in our database, make sure we have the correct data type rules for our database. Hardware and software would of course mean buying the computers or installing the correct software that we need. And the test plan will come to in a moment. Okay, so for development and testing, the area that usually comes up in the exam is going to be the testing section. And for testing, all we're doing is making sure that whatever we've developed, making sure that that works properly. So if we think about Mr. Awesome and his gym, let's say in his database we can have customers and they can be from 13 to 80 years old. So they can't be younger than 13 and they can't be older than 80. So how could we test that our validation rules for the database, so in this case it's going to be a range check, 18 to 30, how can we check that those validation rules actually work the way they're supposed to? Well to do that we have to come up with different types of test data. So the three types of test data are, first of all, normal data, this is data that is as we expect it to be, or within the range. So for 13 to 80, inside the range would be, say, 15, 30, or 70, and that would be normal test data. The next one would be extreme test data. This is where you test on the ranges. So in this case, 13 and 80, are our limits, so our test data at this point would be 13 and 80. Notice that this is still valid at this point. Our last type of test data is the abnormal type, and this is anything that's just wrong or weird or strange. So it's outside or invalid. So 13, a number less than 13, 10. A number that's a bit weird and less than 13, minus 1. More than 80, 86. But then, generally just invalid, 20 is written in text, and this has to be a number. So it could be something like that, where it's the wrong data type, or just something completely unexpected would be abnormal data. So we normally remember it as in the range, on the range, past the range in the range, on the range, outside the range. Whichever works for you, but you have to remember these, and often you're going to be given a, a clue of some kind or a situation, and you're going to have to come up with examples to illustrate your point. Okay, so your turn, give it a go. So Mr. Awesome's beginner program, so this is for people who are wanting to build muscle, his beginner's program uh, the students, people must weigh more than 50 kilograms, 
because if they're too light, maybe it's dangerous for them or something. Um, and they mostly weigh less than 80 kilograms. So if they're too big already, he doesn't want them on the team. So between 50 and 80 kilograms to join his program. What would be, what are the three types of test data? And can you tell me examples using this situation? Give me an example, at least one example for each. So we'll pause the video and write down your answers, please. Okay, good. Hopefully you have something. So let's have a look. So for normal, we're going to go with something in the range. So it could be something like 50 or 79, anything between 50 and 80, really. Our second option, extreme, which is on the range, that would have to be 50 or 80. Now notice technically there's a crossover that 50 and 80 are normal de test data, but because they're on the ranges, please don't put them in your answer for normal. Please make sure it's something inside, not on the edges. So for on the edges, we use the extremes. Um, and this is because often when people write programs or people write software, the mistakes are very small. So for example, maybe 49 would be acceptable, but 48 would not. And we want it to be only 50 is acceptable. So these little mistakes, if we test on the extremes, then we get to find them as well. And the final kind is our abnormal, or outside, or invalid data. So anything less than 50, anything more than 80, or just invalid data types, invalid characters. Really what we're doing in the abnormal one is we're trying to break the system. So a lot of the time, um, things can be broken by putting in strange values, and this can cause systems to crash, um, and it can let hackers get access in some case. So the abnormal testing is very important. Okay, so that was a fairly short one today. Um, we'll just have a quick review. So the development and testing section, we have two parts. The development part is when we're making what we have planned in the design section. And then the testing section is where we're checking out that our software works correctly. And to do this, we're using normal, extreme, and abnormal data. Now, if you've been working through the other videos and you've been coming up with your own company, uh, a good thing for today would be to go and come up with examples of test data for the company that you are working on. So pick a small section and come up with normal, extreme, and abnormal test data for your validation rule. Thank <laughs> you.